Welcome back to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're going to do some leftover pulled pork cheesy sandwiches. So sometimes after you cook a pork butt, you have leftovers, and you kind of run out of ideas on how best to serve those leftovers. Well, today I'm going to show you how I made this amazing, cheesy, smoky, juicy, spicy leftover pulled pork sandwich. So let's go fire up the Blaze Kamado. We're going to get it up to about 300 degrees. As you can see, we still have some coals left over from our last cook, so we'll just use those. We'll throw in a couple tumbleweeds. Go ahead and shut the lid. Leave that bottom vent open. We'll open this top vent and we'll wait for it to climb up to temp. We'll need a bit of sliced onion and a saucepan and nonstick cooking spray. Let's go ahead and coat the inside of that pan. Now that the Kamado is up to temp, we want to go ahead and put that pan on the uh, grill grates and get it nice and hot. And add our onions and let those get nice and translucent. It's about 10 minutes later, let's check in on that onion. Yeah, that's the color we're looking for. Uh, it's really smelling good, so let's just go ahead and take that off the grill and set it off to the side for now. All right, the next thing we're gonna need is a couple sheets of heavy-duty aluminum foil. I use the, uh, the Reynolds Wrap, the heavy-duty stuff, the uh, grill foil. Next thing we wanna do is get ourselves some of that leftover pulled pork. Then I'm gonna hit with a tablespoon of butter and a little Kinder's barbecue sauce. This is their hickory brown sugar. Then we'll just wrap this dude up. Remember, double foil. Make kind of a pouch out of it. You want to make sure you close it all the way up. Just like that, and back onto the smoker. Guys, it's hot out here. We're running about uh, 100 degrees today, 115 on the uh, heat index, so I think I need a refreshment. So I think a second rodeo from Lost 40 Brewing, which is right here in central Arkansas, will do the trick. Cheers. Okay guys, we're approaching the one hour mark, so uh, let's go ahead and take that pulled pork off, let it rest, and then we're gonna get our sauce going. That's gonna be just fine. All right, let's go back to our saucepan. We're gonna go with some Rico's Gourmet Nacho Cheddar Cheese Sauce. The stuff in the can, there's nothing better. Well, maybe there is, I don't know. But this stuff is really good. All right, let's heat up our cheese sauce on the Kamado. Okay, our sauce is warming up. It's about done, so let's toast our buns. Okay, so we're going to hit those buns with some of this Kinder's barbecue sauce, the same stuff that we put in the, uh, the pulled pork. I think it's really important that those buns are toasted. That'll make it hold up to the sauce a lot better. Oh, man, it's juicy. Woo-wee! That's looking good. Yeah, what do y'all think? All right, let's come in with some of this cheese sauce. Oh, man. This is gonna be something else. Do you remember our onions? I do. <laughs> They've been smelling good this whole time. Now you don't have to do onions if you don't want to. You could garnish this however you want. Jalapenos, whatever you like. That's what we're looking like, folks. Cheesy pulled pork sandwich on a toasted bun. All right, let's go ahead and top this off. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see all the goodness in there. The cheese, the crunch of the onion, the smokiness, the barbecue sauce. It all comes together so perfectly. That toasted bun, you gotta do it. You gotta do it, man. This is a fantastic way to utilize your leftover pulled pork. Man. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It's going to help us out a lot. I have something in my teeth. And we really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.